Well, with today being Father's Day, I wanted to showcase one very special dad. You guys at home know him well. You've seen him on your TV screens for the last 25 plus years. He is my boss, my right hand man when it comes to this whole TV thing. But most importantly, Dave Calabro is dad to his two sons. So tonight we're flipping the script, getting to know Dave the dad, courtesy of his two boys. Dad, happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, little David. Um, I hope you enjoy it. My name's Alex Calabro. I'm uh, the younger brother, the younger Calabro brother. I am Drew Calabro. I am the much older and wiser um, <laughs> child of Dave Calabro. So obviously people here know Dave as the sports guy, but I want today on Father's Day for people to get to know Dave the dad. So in your eyes, how would you describe your dad? I think like some of what you see on TV is how he actually is in yeah. the sense of like, he really doesn't take himself very seriously. Like he's a very fun person to be around. Like he's the biggest family man. Like he, our mom, his wife is his best friend. And if you asked him what his perfect day would be, it would probably be just hanging out with our mom or hanging out with us. I think kind of building off that, like when we were growing up, we never, like you never knew when he was home that he was the sports guy. Like you. Yeah. It was just like, hey, dad's home for dinner. And we and I don't think it really ever processed with us that that's like, you know, in between shows, he would drive 45 minutes home just to have dinner. What would be if you had to pick one of your greatest memories with your dad? Oh, man. Put you on the spot. Tough. I know. What first came to mind for me was when uh, the Olympic torch was going through the United States. Um, and it was for the Salt Lake Games, and I got to skip school, and, and all of my friends were like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm skipping school, I get to go to the Olympic torch. And then we got to go to Cracker Barrel afterwards, like, you know, with like with the torch. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Just the little things. Um, I mean, we'd go fishing. We'd go fishing, like, in the White River. We'd go fishing in the pond in our neighborhood. We'd go fishing at, up at, at Morse Reservoir, and those were, like, just little things that I always loved to do. I know he's taught you so many life lessons, but if there's one thing that kind of sticks with you today, you guys are both, you know, grown up, living in your respective cities in the real world. What is What has he taught you? Being a go-getter is something that he prides himself on and has always kind of tried to hammer into us, is that, like, if you want something, you go work for it and you take it and you do what you have to do to get you grind for it. I'm a fifth grade teacher right now, and I think it's really important and he's instilled in me, like, if I see an injustice in the world or I see something that's going on that's not right to speak up about it, I think it's really, really important to use your voice to do good in the world. And I think he lives that every day. What a special gift. Happy Father's Day to Dave and to all of you dads.